Hello, I am Alfonso Garadafabo, and I'm excited to bring you the details for Arena of Valor's ongoing content updates. As we get started with this video, I ask that you bear with us as the current global realities necessitate many of us working from home for the safety and well-being of all of our employees. With that said, please forgive the super high production values associated with us filming from our home offices. For four years now, we have been developing and playing Arena of Valor alongside all of you. And in that time, we have brought novel and fun content such as the Battlefield 2.0 reset, Enchantment, and Karano Chess. Over the past year, we have continued to collect everyone's feedback in our ongoing efforts to make Arena of Valor more competitive and fair for our entire audience hopefully resulting in the best gaming experience possible for everyone from our most casual players all the way to our most hardcore supporters. Now, let us discuss the battlefield. We have been hearing community feedback regarding your desire to see the battlefield updated. And we haven't been sitting idly by. Over time, we've been constantly tweaking and iterating to improve it. But it takes lots of research, exploration, and testing to make sure that the changes are made correctly. Now we have to be cautious, because unlike with individual heroes, the battlefield is a playground for all players. So even the smallest changes can greatly affect everyone's play experience, for the better or worse. So starting this season, we would like to introduce seasonal mechanics, which will only last one season on the battlefield. The first season games will focus on improving issues with vision. In mid-game, the loss of vision in the jungle after one side loses a defense tower often results in a disadvantage for that team that leads to players quickly becoming trapped near their base. At that point, the only chance of turning the tide is by winning team fights around their base. This kind of besieged gameplay is not fun for most players, and we would like to see more diversified approaches to winning. We want to encourage teams that are behind to be brave and step out of their base to possibly regain the advantage through resources gained from team fights. At the same time, those in the lead will have more chances to end the game instead of repeatedly circling around the enemy base. Now, when a middle lane outer tower is destroyed, heroes can activate the jungle's vision by touching the shard spawned by the elf, located below the high grounds. Activating the Vision Shard provides allies with a brief but wide true vision and continues providing vision for a short time after. Let us move on to confrontation experience optimizations. We've always strived to optimize battlefield information displays and controls to make battlefield confrontations better for players. You might have noticed that we've made changes to optimize the camera indicator, controls for heroes, and clarity of battle slash fighting mechanics in the most recent versions of the game. We believe that everyone has had an experience in a match where they weren't sure what exactly just happened. And this is why it's especially important to clearly convey the most important game information during team battles. After collecting vast amounts of feedback, we're determined to improve and optimize the game's UI and how information is presented to the player to improve the clarity and feedback of events in-game. This includes displaying information such as when a character has iron body, invulnerability, cannot be targeted, or immunity to death to both teams more clearly. One common player request is for a clear way to know why they've received gold. In response, we've distinguished between the different circumstances for receiving gold and created a better way of displaying and communicating them. We hope that everyone will now have a clearer idea and understanding going forward of how their gold is obtained. Continuing, let us discuss gameplay experience optimization. Another very common topic of feedback was requests for optimization of various game systems. In our last two updates after overhauling and optimizations of the matchmaking and reporting systems, we have continued getting feedback regarding this topic. Please understand that ongoing improvements to the matchmaking and reporting system represent massive design challenges, but regardless of those challenges, they will always always be an important focus for us 
as we continue to work towards making them better with each update. We have gathered and summarized the feedback and suggestions we received from everyone about the whole process starting from enter lobby, to find match, to select hero, to the match experience itself and the following match results. We have made systematic and comprehensive optimizations to target issues with the player experience from start to finish. This includes the reconstruction of return to lobby logic, hero and lane selection expression, optimizations of pick and ban, communication in games, and in-game chat report functions, refuse to surrender function, and the play again feature. We hope that these optimizations to the overall game system will bring more enjoyment to our entire Arena Valor community. Finally, let's talk about the new 3v3 mode update. We have noticed that it has been a while since 3v3 has gotten special attention, and considering that it is the second most popular mode in the game, we thought it was about time. Now, we are excited to announce that we have solved technical issues stemming from mirror matches in 3v3, which means that both red and blue players will be able to attack from left to right. While solving this issue, we also carried out an overall revamp of the 3v3 mode. This included upgrading and optimizing both the graphics and gameplay. We hope that the entire community will now enjoy much more intense battles in this newly updated mode. Also, previously Garnak did not provide sufficient advantage when fighting battles. This update grants players an active ability from killing Garnak. This effect inflicts long periods of freeze or greater damage to enemy buildings, which can help bring down enemy towers by reducing the defense tower's HP. The ability can also be used against enemy heroes to increase the chances of winning team fights. Previously, the pace of 3v3 was too fast and oftentimes resulted in one-sided matches. To combat this, we've reduced the overall pace of the game. We've also improved some recovery abilities and reduced the number of recalls. That is all for today. Our team is dedicated to making Arena of Valor the best experience possible for all players, and this is an ongoing goal that is never truly finished. So please, never be shy about giving your honest feedback, letting us know what works, what doesn't, and what changes you want to see. For instance, we have received many great suggestions about the reporting system, which was released in the last season. We are working on the reconstruction, so let us fight together against malicious behavior and work together to maintain a good game environment for everyone. So. Other than making the previously mentioned changes in this season, we've also been working on some new content for ranked matches and modes that will be released during the upcoming anniversary celebrations. So keep your eyes peeled for more details, and may we meet again on the Athenor world. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs>